space, life is intertwined with technology. Let's figure it out. Welcome to Life, Tech, and Sundry. Hi there. Sorry for butting in into the podcast. So this podcast is brought to you by Anchor. And I just want to promote Anchor for all the listeners out there. What is Anchor, you say? Anchor is free. Okay? Totally free. So don't need to worry about that. What else? Anchor has basically all the creation tools that you'll need and you want to kickstart that podcast that you've been dreaming all this time. It helps it get it on the road. Uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts. Anchor takes care of that too. So you just have to create an account, start recording, and edit everything within the anchor ecosystem that makes things a lot more easy start creating you can download the app too may that be on apple or android there's no bias there if you want to get working on your computer you can always go to anchor.fm again the website is anchor.fm creating your podcast has never been easier thanks Back to the show. All right, did I tell you I got a new Wi-Fi adapter for my computer? Finally. Nice. What happened? So now there's a there's now there's a there's an antenna sticking out. Well, wait, wait, oh, on your computer, right? Yeah, I don't know why I thought it was still the router. <clears throat> no, the router's still there. Finally, no. Mm-hmm. It's back That's to supposed it. to me. There's a whole story. It's on the podcast. That's supposed to me. Yeah, it's on the podcast. What's okay. that supposed to me? You gotta find out on the podcast. Well, what's that supposed to me? Okay, Marcus, when you're ready. <laughs> and go with the podcast. Good evening, good morning, good day, or good night, whatever time it is for you, the listener. My name is Marcos Lopez. Wait, why do you worry about why are we about the time that they're listening to? Greetings. My name is Marcos Lopez. No, wait, wait, hold up. You already used greetings. You have to use something else. Hail and well met. We can't use that. It's copyrighted. Who decided that? Uh, This email I just got. Sure, whatever. But my name is Marcos. Well, we can't use that in try either. It just got copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's 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 your boy. You know? He's like F, F the F the copyright. We're doing it. <laughs> We're doing it live. <laughs> so yeah. So hi, this is Marcos. You guys heard our shenanigans from the start. Ah, uh, you can't say hi there, Marcos. So. <laughs> Going That's politically here incorrect. From the list of present speakers <laughs> are Mike, who can't stop laughing for some reason. Go for it, go for it, Mike. <laughs> Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Skinny Penis here, coming at you live. <laughs> and then below him is Mr. J or Jose on the list over here. Oh, I yeah, see y'all. Since Mike couldn't do it. <laughs> Forgot the other part. Yolo Bun. Oh, Yolo Bun. <laughs> you just know what that means. Me. Cholo Bun. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> Cholo Sun. <laughs> but yeah, so. And then we got Mr. M. Mr. M. Oh. Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I was. I mean, I introduced myself. But okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll introduce myself again. Marcos. Good evening. Good day. Good morning. Whatever time you guys are we listening told you, to the we podcast. Don't, we don't have to worry about that. I like saying it anyways. Cover my bases. What so, bases? Uh, we're at home. We're not uh, playing baseball. Sure. No. With our imagination. Okay. So. We're going to go with the notes. And So you read the first one, Marcos? Yes. We're going to see what uh, Mike okay. and Josue uh, can 
you know think about th- their opinions their thoughts as you if you will <clears throat> about these I things. have no opinions you have a lot of opinions and I want to hear them that's why you're a in the podcast okay number one archaeologists d- identify what? the content of ancient Mayan drug uh, containers open quote ancient Mayans have been a continuing source of inspiration for their moment uh, monuments knowledge and mysteries mysterious demise now a new study discovers some of the drugs they used for the first time scientists found remnants of a non-tobacco plant in mayan drug containers <clears throat> they believe their analysis methods can allow them exciting new ways of investigating the different types of psycho psychoactive and non psychoactive plants used by the Mayans or by the Maya and other pre Columbian uh, societies. Why did you add that little sentence right afterwards? Who do you who do you think added that? <laughs> That's why I copied I copied the original one and you not reading it directly from the Google Docs. <laughs> you have to read everything, Marcos. Keep no. on going. Okay, Keep I'm gonna going. continue. That's why I okay, copied it into people. my yeah. For context for everyone knowing, right afterwards no, it no, said, no, let Marcos like... finish. Let Michael finish, okay. finish the sentence. Oh yeah, he's gotta say it. You gotta read it. It's a good thing I'm not reading it from there. I copied and pasted it just in case. <laughs> The researcher, the research was carried out by a team. Wait, so from, how do you know? How you know it was there? Because I copied, copied it just, uh, just after I gave you guys access. I copied and pasted it to another place. Oh, you so say it's a plagiarism? You copied, huh? I copied the <laughs> notes that I have right now because I know you, I know you guys might do something like this because it's something that I would do. <laughs> uh huh. So you admit to plagiarizing. You've heard it here, no, folks. The Marcos <laughs> admits to plagiarism. I mean, he isn't. He isn't wrong. I he copied, literally I, did copy and pasted this whole blurb. Yeah. <laughs> the research was. Did you give her credit? Yes. <laughs> Where? Did you, MLA it's, it's, I have to read more again. The running joke but is that I do see not this. do MLA. It's a good thing it's audio only then. <laughs> and I I copy and paste it on on a PDF <laughs> format later on. The researchers are negotiating with various Mexican institutions to be. Oh, wait, what? Are, what, what, what? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I like, you literally jumped a whole paragraph. The Me, research. You jumped the research, a whole paragraph. Yeah, I said I. It said the research oh. was carried. Yeah, <laughs> the research was carried out Marcus by a wrote, team you, from wrote, Washington likes, State likes, University, yeah. led by anthrop- anthropology postdoctorate Mario. No, you wrote Zimmerman. postdoc. Postdoctor, I uh, postdoctorate Mario Zimmerman, and they spotted residue of the Mexican uh, marigold uh, tagetus lucida in fourteen tiny ceramic vessels that were <clears throat> buried over one thousand years ago on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Yucatan. The containers also exhibited. Chemical traces of two types of tobacco, nicotina tobaccum and nicotina rustica. Scientists think the marigold was mixed in with the tobacco to make the experience more pleasant. The researchers are negotiating with various Mexican institutes to be able to study more ancient containers for plant residue they also aim to look at organic materials possibly preserved in the dental plaque of ancient remains read more at the link below brought to you by the bigthink.com so i mean it's not it's not weird that uh, ancient civilizations marco this is your excuse to talk about drugs drugs (laughs) Right? It's not out of the question. I so mean, this there, is your excuse to talk about drugs. There was no TV. They had to do... They had to reach enlightenment somehow, right? Yeah, it's called sex. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you, 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 you even questioned yourself. <laughs> so, do yeah. You? But yeah, that, it's, it's just that, you know, humans will never change, I guess. It gets... 
there's always a demand for this, even in the, in the ancient times. I mean, I think if you think about it, like throughout history, there was always different types of of drugs use. Like you had at the time, like uh, marijuana was a big thing from years and years ago. Tobacco, if you want to consider like tobacco drug. Extra thick milkshakes. Extra thick milkshakes. Oh, what was the place <laughs> that uh, got covered by the volcano? By the what, volcano? Pompeii. Pompeii? Yeah, Pompeii. Remember that place? They had its own fast food chain. Mm-hmm. Give me the room with the rooster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but yeah, what do you guys? I mean, it's not out of uh, uh, my guess. It was a religion thing, a religious thing, and some a, a way to go with the pastime. Historically, it's been known that a lot of priest-like figures. That's my my understanding used it in order with, to reach their own meditation their, right. to reach enlightenment while they were meditating or while they were thinking but <clears throat> what this also makes me understand is that it was preserved and probably even sold so you're saying that they had drug lords back in the mines too not drug lords but at least kingpins drug lords kingpins at the end of the day, they're all trying to sell drugs. Somehow, yeah. Hustlers Some always way. be hustling. <laughs> Every Back day then, I'm hustling. That's copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, if you will, Mike, please. Okay. He's like, and now I see the light. No, I was hoping my mic would start talking. I oh. see you type that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, for reference for people who are listening, I see you typing it down there. <laughs> what do you think is doing that? It says its name right there. Who's the guilty one? <laughs> hmm, it says Marcos. Marcos. Oh, so it's definitely <laughs> it not me. Oh, well, you did a mention to plagiarism earlier. I copied what I my document, so I I guess I plagiarized my own. Yeah. In order to See, save a copy, you just said I preserved you copy. it. Yeah, if, you said you copied. If we're copy. going by your logic. Yeah, anything that you copy is considered plagiarism. <laughs> if I copy to make a, a, a to preserve it and not to so that it can avoid the 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 the, the misuse. <laughs> if that's considered considered plagiarism, then sure. Okay, okay continue, anyway. please. Yes. Uh but why series? <laughs> Okay. Humans could move to this floating asteroid belt colony in the next 15 years, astrophysicists, astrophysicists say. Now more than ever, space agencies and starry-eyed billionaires have their minds fixed on finding a new home for humanity beyond Earth's orbit. Mars is an obvious candidate, given its relative proximity. 24-hour day-night cycle, CO2-rich atmosphere, forever. <clears throat> There's a school of space-faring thought. But suggest colonizing the surface of another planet, any planet, is more trouble than it's worth. Now, a new paper published January 6th, date to the preprint database ARZIF, offers a creative counterproposal: ditch the wretch, pl- ditch the red the planet, <laughs> and build a gargantuan floating habitat around the dwarf planet Ceres instead. But why Ceres? Its average distance from Earth is comparable to that of Mars. Jan Huhnen wrote, making travel relatively easy. But the dwarf planet also has a big elemental advantage. Ceres is rich in nitrogen, which would be crucial in developing the orbiting settlement's atmosphere. Jan Huhnen said, Earth's atmosphere is roughly 79% nitrogen. But rather than building a colony on the surface of the tiny world, Ceres has a radius roughly one third that of Earth. Settlers. One thirteenth. Thank you. One thirteenth that of Earth. Settlers could utilize space elevators to transfer raw materials from the planet directly up to their orbiting habitats. Its orbital lifestyle would also address one of the biggest caveats Jan Hunin sees in the idea of a Martian surface colony: the health impacts of low gravity. Read yeah. more at www.livescience.com. But yeah, so 
um basically we can control our environment more if we do a, a space colony like in um in gundam wing remember that colony no i never watched gundam damn Neither it did i damn it but yeah, you can't no. be using gundam references all the time you know turning to jets turning into uh big cannons <laughs> oh like sao <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah. Mecha, mechanized weaponry. But yeah, so I, I, it, it, it would be more advantageous for the human civilization to control its environment more compared to an, up an actual planet that they have to do more work. And mm-hmm. the gravity, I didn't think about that. There are health issues with, uh, with us as humans. We Are we... Can you guys say that we're locked in our physically with our health or are too intertwined with our gravity on this planet pretty much humans have <laughs> developed over however long we've been around based on our environment so the only way we'd be able to survive on another planet would take a couple more thousand years minimum at least to control gravity <laughs> not to control gravity but to adapt to new gravity oh yeah yeah there you go like, it's easier to adapt than to develop a new technology yeah so it would take a long time before like whatever the other half of us would be able to survive on the other planet it's like cowboy bebop remember that episode that they were on mars i never watched cowboy bebop (laughs) damn it Well, what about so you remember the episode of Naruto when they went to the moon? <laughs> <laughs> of that long episode? That you very long that episode? Yes, the no, movie. No, that was an episode. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so it was an hour and a half episode. Yeah. That was shown in theaters. <laughs> <laughs> it had crisp animation, you know? Yeah. But yeah, but I just, feel like... It's more granular control on a space colony. I would say, like, I feel like... There's no point. Just just stay on Earth. There is a point, but you know, yeah, humans will be always chasing the dragon. Each other. We yeah. all I mean everything's been I uh, think about it. This Earth is not is not a friendly place. From the smallest bacteria to the largest but, but, animals. But Marcos, 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 compared to the other planets. Can you survive in the other planets without any help from technology? Not yet. What do you mean not yet? <laughs> without <laughs> help of technology. I mean, eventually, there's going to be a, a species of so, of something. I don't know, a life form that can but, uh, survive but I'm talking, in zero I'm gravity. About, I'm talking about right now, Marcos. You, oh, if right we now, have the no. technology to send you over and just shoot you to another planet, can you survive? No. So you know, that's I feel it like, for that question, though. Yeah, I'm saying not go. yet. That's not, why I said oh, no, not no, no, yet. No, no, no. You didn't say no, the no, parameters. I said, I said now. Yeah, now, no. But so I'm saying, I feel but like, this, but, what, but what's listen, the listen, difference? Listen. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, Marcus, listen. Yes. I feel like people are trying to shoot for for another planet. Literally beyond they already the moon. Have a, but, but they already have a planet that's perfect. It's not, it's what we got. It's not, it's not well, perfect. Well, I mean, it's a lot better than dying from, uh, from everything. extreme cold, extreme heat. From everything, yeah. From either the, the infinite vacuum that we have to getting vaporized by the sun. Yeah. But I'm not saying that this this is a, a blue this is paradise for life i'm not denying that i'm just saying that that li- not all not life no life here on this planet is friendly i mean are you friendly marcus to some people yes <laughs> oh, to, oh so you're mean to other people huh i'm more indifferent because if if you know if i, I don't bother him and he doesn't bother me we're cool that's it <laughs> but that doesn't mean i'm friendly <clears throat> <clears throat> but I mean, you know, yes. I feel like I feel like the whole colonization of the planet is just a manifest destiny that we shouldn't have. Oh, oh, manifest destiny. You just went hard with yes, yes. You are correct. With so, that. <laughs> so I, I, me personally, I feel like it's a waste of money because, like, even even like you know, some people like uh neil deGrasse tyson i think it is. it's like so what happens if there's an asteroid i'm like well have you had an asteroid lately it's like no it's like there have been the asteroids. possibility yeah but, but like has hit and has affected us i mean it that's killing it's been and there's at least stats of people dying of getting hit with an asteroid 
Yeah, but I mean, what's, your, what's the amount that you're asking? Well, okay. Well, what I'm asking is this: is like, I feel like for me, space travel to another planet to like live in, I feel like it's pointless because you already have a perfectly habitable planet here. The only problem is that yes. you're destroying it yeah, by I agree. doing yes. something. Yes. So instead of, I feel like instead of trying to find another planet to do the same thing, just figure out how can we solve the problem here. And then we'll be good. My my guess, it's again, unfortunately, it's that mani- manifest destiny. Remember, not remember, uh, historically, um, when it's like, do you when remember? um, what was the western side of Rome called? Rome? No, the eastern, eastern, eastern from, Rome, uh, Constantinople. <laughs> it was the link from Asia to to Europe, and there was a huge. It still is nowadays, but back in those days. It was a huge source of revenue for the Europeans with the spice trade. But because Constantinople fell, there was a demand for new routes. And because of that demand, again, supply and demand. And the demand right uh, right now, my guess is for resources and real estate. That's what I'm thinking. And they think that I'm thinking that other companies believe that it's worth the investment right now <clears throat> to go out there and send little robots send little drones send little satellites to see what's to scope out obviously no human is going to be able to step there what was the time frame that they said that they want to do the asteroid at least 2035 i think let me see oh no yeah i read the journal and the the entire entry and they were thinking maybe 2035 15 years no yeah but i me personally i feel like it's just a big a big waste of money it was. I mean, what do you think the Spanish crown thought it was a big, a big waste of money with with, 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 with Mr. Cologne? No, Mr. yeah, Cristobal but Cologne. you're you're comparing it to a place we haven't been on Earth versus a place you haven't been in space. But people weren't here. Well, people were here, but Europeans weren't. I mean, besides the Vikings, weren't here on this continent. They. I mean, no, if you never I, know. But but Marcos, that's again, my analogy. You're, right you're now. comparing it to a place on Earth versus a place in space. I don't know about you, but if you step into space, you die. But it's our Wait, Americas right do? now. He's it's like, what our, do you do? <laughs> right now, for I feel like for this time frame, it's the same thing for the civilization. Uh, it's I feel like more you're you're probably stretching it. It's feel like it's more like they want to seem like they accomplish something by saying, Hey, look, we can now live in another planet. Or at least in a colony. Yeah, but I mean <gasps> there oh, no. there's no point. I'm way I can't oh no. I hope. I hope. That there's no Roanoke in space. What? No. I hope not. No, but yeah, I like like I said, it's for me it's like a why? Cause it's a what? I want to. Hello? No, I heard you. It's a what? And unfortunately, it's a big. He cut off again. You cut off. Hello? Yeah, oh, you cut okay. off. I thought it was just me. Like, wait, is everyone like dying? No, no. <laughs> Literally, uh, you're like, hey, it's a big and you went mute. <laughs> yeah, it's a big one. He's a money. Yeah. Oh, but. Yes. Are hey, we lagging? No, no, wait. A little bit. Oh, it's going up. And it hasn't gone up. Oh, now it's going down. What are you okay. measuring? The delay in between. Oh, wow. It spiked. <clears throat> I'm doing but a speed yeah. test. But yeah, like I said, We're clear. it's a it's a big waste of money to... Did I cut out? No, you're good. Can, can you hear me, Mike? Okay. Yeah, I can hear. Yeah, it was just quiet. But yeah, it's, it's a big waste of money to like do this. At least for me. I mean, do you think the Wright brothers thought it was a waste of money for them to invest in that technology? Uh, not this. Yes. Not the thing to compare it with Marcos. Kidding. <laughs> Marcos, again, you compare. You're comparing apples with bananas. How? Because the whole thing with the Wright brothers and trying to venture off to another place in space is two different things. I mean, um, my original comparison first was the. Fall of a con- and of again a now continent. you're now you're comparing apples with oranges. I'm I'm using it in the sense of supply and demand. There's a potential for supply over there. But, but what's, who's demanding it? 
I mean, the the same companies, military, real estate, military domination. Well, what company? Military domination. This person is a billionaire. Military domination. I mean, billionaires so will no never the, be satisfied. There's no demand. There's just a there's just one person that wants it. No, there's a bunch. Because the demand is like because like if there's a demand, I would say like, oh, everybody wants a new iPhone. <clears throat> that's a demand. Yeah, but, but if the but if the government is like, oh, I want us to do this, that's not really demand. That's a force. And then there's the that's deployment, allegedly, of a military bl- branch called Space Force. <laughs> yeah, I give it like another year. Yeah, but still, I mean, the intent is there. Yeah, but like I said, Marco, it's, it's a waste of money. Yeah, but it's a waste of money on the short term of five, maybe even ten years. Long term for like a nation is nothing. It's a drop in the bucket. Uh, I don't know, Marcos. Have you pl- have you played the game War? Have you played the oh, game? Oh yes, like- I love trying to kill other people in a war. <laughs> and that's the whole thing that I'm thinking about. Unfortunately, humans are gonna want to fight in space. But for- wait, 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 who? What so, human? Can you imagine space battles? Marco, there's, there's, I, I can get you. I can let you know right now. There's people who don't even want to fight in the streets. Not right. I mean, th- there's as, there's as many people that don't want to fight as many people that do want to fight. That's my theory. Uh, I don't know about that, Marcos. Can you disprove it? Yeah. How? If you try, if you go, if you, how you might, how many fights do you see in the streets every day? Not that many. No, not that many. Yeah, you're so. Right. <laughs> Hey, I'm asking. I'm not, I'm honestly curious. That's why I, I mean the facts. You gotta drop the facts, the knowledge. Well, that's the fact. Like I it's just good. told you, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I, but you know, Marco, I don't. I feel like just to say, like, oh, people want to just fight in space. I don't think it's that people want to. I think it's more like countries want to show their dominance by saying, "Hey, look, we have this that you can't get." Ugh. And I don't know about you, but in past history, that's lead to unnecessary wars. The manifest and that's the, destiny, and that's, and that's the type of things people don't want. Yeah, the manifest destiny thing, right? There's a whole thing with that. But that was a well, good I, summer. I like that. I, I like I say, that. I say manifest destiny because they're saying that they want to colonize another planet because, or I don't even know why, or space in general. No, no, no. Just specifically a planet because how are you going to conquer space with uh, colonies, space colonies? Yeah, but you need to put it in a place. A 3D space. You have to first. You have to first conquer somewhere. That's my. Th- that's my <laughs> idea. Like, unfortunately, people are gonna want to fight up there. I mean, I I don't think so, Marcos. I think that's that's like a little put. That's pushing it. That's why I'm here. I'm here to push it. Yeah, but you're pushing it in the wrong direction, Marcos. <laughs> I feel I feel like what's gonna happen is that once we once we have the capability of traveling through space countries are going to be like okay let's get to a place that no one can get which is right now a space <laughs> i mean more specific than space marco space is really big like yeah, for space example here space, uh, space we said around serious. the atmosphere earth i feel like there's gonna be something on a military say, okay we got the entire planet on lockdown the entire planet atmosphere on lockdown i feel like that's what's gonna more happen though that's you're gonna be like space. I can now travel to Mercury I can now travel to Jupiter I can colonize Jupiter so then so then before even going to another planet you think there's gonna be ODST real life ODSTs what's ODST orbital drop shock troopers maybe I mean if 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 like I said space travel true I don't think not even space, just uh. Bu- 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 no, bu- but bu- I'm bu- saying bu- the thing that like really pushes this is space travel. Us having the capability of space traveling, yeah, light atmosphere travel first. Which, to anything. be honest, I don't think is possible. I don't even think I want it to be possible. Well, light space travel? No, space travel in general. <laughs> oh. Just to push an international space station, but colony sized. Again, it goes back to Roanoke. I don't want a Roanoke in space. But yeah, let's go on to the next. Oh, okay. I was going to ask something. I was going to ask something that's like slightly on topic, but still on topic. Well, oh, on topic with the original. cupcakes? No. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, it could be cupcakes depending <laughs> where the conversation goes. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay. 
So the one thing I always been wondering is they always scientists always talk about colonizing other planets and they say that oh you just need these materials or you need to do this to the planet or this to the planet like you need nitrogen or something or like some kind of element to create like a livable atmosphere have they actually ever do- have scientists ever done that like here on earth like in a controlled environment like where they just you know create a diorama um put some elements in the sphere like say like it's full of nitrogen and then just try to make it create work like it can end up being like you know oxygen and has hospitable like have they done it like on here to like say we have done it in a controlled environment where it shows it is possible and that we can actually do it on earth and saying we can do it on another planet so just saying let's just launch you know science and things like that and the things that we theorize would hopefully work out kind of thing what yes it's called a cupcake way? What say you of us? Right? It's called the cupcake. Nah, I mean, go for it. I mean, no, what's, but what's, yeah, what's it's called the cupcake no, paradox. Least, yes, but no, I don't think so. Salutations, Marcos here. This is a message to all the listeners out there. There are links in the show notes for our Twitter, email, and even show notes. Any questions or ideas for the podcast can be sent via these links. Now, back to our regularly scheduled podcast. I'm, I mean, man, um, you don't think so? Is, is that your final answer? Yeah. Hmm. I'm thinking since they're scientists, probably using the scientific method, and they're going to probably do something like a dome, a, a controlled size dome, let's say, and then something that can, they can control temperature. They're going to invest on that hardware to control temperature and also create a vacuum. Mm-hmm. Have a zero, um, a zero. I mean, they can't control gravity just yet in on on Earth unless they do like a rotating thing. But if I just to control the temperature, oxygen, and the elements specifically that are present inside a dome, maybe, maybe that's as far as they can go right now, and probably not controlling the gravity because again example with mars it's one third i think the gravity and on earth Uh so that's why the guy the scientist was saying do it first on the space colony because there's a certain to a certain point physically it's it's possible to control the gravity and then it's much easier to control the elements with like he said in uh close to series curies whatever the name of that meteor is sure I'm calling it series. Uh, I, I could be wrong. I'm, Siri. I'm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, and z- since you're in a space colony, you're in you're in a vacuum. You can start from zero, and then hopefully work towards starting to control your elements and then your your gravity. That's my theory. That's why he was proposing more towards a space colony versus going on to a planet that has issues on on a um on a different gravity gravity on um, with different with different gravity compared to earth um this is my my analysis what was that yeah that was my analysis <coughs> basically that the sci- this scientist mr johan johansson yeah mr johnson no Johannes? john hunan john hunan yeah he said it's Johannes? much it's much more easier more efficient to first start from zero in a space colony versus going to a planet that has a different gravity that you have to literally jump over bigger hoops to try to increase the gravity mm-hmm. than it is to start from zero with zero gravity right but that still doesn't fully explain the the question of have scientists like created like controlled work environments where they make it like you know when they first create it they make it inhospitable like saying like you know they <clears> recreate <throat> what would the atmosphere of Mars be like in the dome here on Earth? Oh, the, and then yeah, they no, just throw yeah. things inside to like see if they can make it hospi- hospitable. I'd say first they go from zero, there being nothing. It's much easier to ma- on Earth right now, with, I think, I think on Earth, with our current technology to clean everything out, vacuum pressure except for gravity um, to make everything clean or um, zero, zero um, oxygen, zero pressure which is as close as you can to open open 
space uh, like open space versus on mars mars it's not fe- on my guess right now that it's harder or close to impossible because of gravity it being le- different than earth that's it throws a wrench into the entire scientific process so that's why the scientists so my answer towards making um a test area for mars is not viable right now versus making a space colony which they're going to be starting from zero Mm. So the That's answer is no. <laughs> Basically no, but the space colony is a yes. But that wasn't the question, Marcos. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm adding, I'm, I'm explaining the, the reasoning why no, and then what they probably can make with instead. Mm-hmm. No, but his question was, and hear me out, Marcos. Can you make, recreate the, situ- the situations from other planets on this planet yeah. to the T? Yeah, and my answer was no. Okay. But they can do a zero atmosphere, zero pl- um, Marcos, 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 an outer Marcos, space Marcos, simulation. Marcos, Marcos. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Just take it. Take it. Okay. <laughs> so now, any other questions? Yes. When are we getting so sponsored what about by Taco topic? Bell? Ah, uh, hopefully. Sponsors, if you can hear me. Sponsor deities. I summon thy. When are we yeah. going to get them cupcakes? Right after this commercial break. Ba-da-ba-ba-da-ba. Taco Bell. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's like Wendy's. <laughs> Wendy's, Wendy's? let's slap you across the face. Extra thick. Ah, got him. Got him. Oh, yeah. So, number three, right? No, no, no. Hold up. This way. So what is what is even in space? What are we gonna have to worry about? What do you guys everything. think? C- besides <laughs> yeah. that, communication. Everything. Freezing cold temperatures, ultraviolet rays. No, no gravity. Even in space, you 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 have to worry about UV rays even on Earth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but this one's unfiltered. Yeah. Unfiltered. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like we have to worry about five percent. We have to worry about five percent here, but over there we have to worry about a hundred percent. And yeah, that's some big mass right there. But yeah, so number three. Wait, what about the cupcakes? We are we're gonna be missing the cupcakes. There are no cupcakes. Oh. You can bring cupcakes all, all along on the spacecraft, right? Uh, it probably freeze. Freeze. Nice frozen cupcakes, and that'll last longer. <laughs> it's like as soon as you leave the Earth's atmosphere, it just goes. Ah, it's frozen. <laughs> Ah, there goes my teeth. Oh, <laughs> let me text this. Yeah, via imagine WhatsApp. they take mid bite. <laughs> they 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 like take mid bite and <laughs> they leave. <laughs> oh, my teeth are stuck. It's like where is it stuck in the frosting? Yeah, you, they sound more like they sound more like boop 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 because the cupcakes stuck yeah. in their mouth. <sighs> That's just too much to think about. Don't torture me with cupcakes. So then they have yeah, to communicate you gotta, through you gotta rip messaging apps. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So you gotta tweet it. Messaging, messaging apps, apps, huh? Yes. Yes. Tell well, us. We got three. What's, our, what's the messaging apps they can use? Oh, yeah? You tell, tell us what's the three. messaging apps. That's you, Hoso. Would you please give us number three? Wait, is there a lag? No. No. Marcos. No. Yes. Who? Who's asking? You. You're number three. Okay. Uh, WhatsApp versus Signal versus Telegram. Marcos, you have an error. I see the error. It's you've re- used the wrong. It's Marcos. Anyway, you WhatsApp has updated. Is... <laughs> Why well, didn't fix it? <laughs> <laughs> WhatsApp has it, updated. We still messed it up. Okay, hold up. Let me fix it. There you go. Okay. Anything else? User base. They're separate. They're two different words. Uh, okay, we good. Uh, WhatsApp has updated its privacy policy, and due to you didn't even finish reading the title. Yeah, I did. I yeah, said WhatsApp did. versus. Oh, What's versus up, Signal versus Telegram, the best messaging app for you. For you. For who? Are you trying to tell him how to do his job? No. Silence. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, yeah WhatsApp has updated its privacy policy, and due to that, 
a lot of people are considering migration. These are not the right words, but okay. To apps like Telegram and Signal, it should have been migrate instead of migration. Or migrating. Consider migrating. Yeah, my, uh, there you go. See, my, why did you write these? <laughs> <laughs> Which one should you choose? We, fi we, we find out. Hold up, hold up. We will find out. I, oh, oh, we hold found up. it. In. We will found, find out, not found out. We will out. <laughs> okay, so we, we will find out on Dragon Ball Z. Uh, WhatsApp users across the globe has come out criticizing the app as trying to arm twist its users into giving consent to sharing their WhatsApp data with its parent company, Facebook, and its subsidizers. No surprise also read, there. Also read, WhatsApp features... Subsidiaries. Huh? Subsidiaries. Subsidiaries. Subsidiaries? Subsidiaries. Subsidiaries? Subsidiaries. Yes. Also read, uh, WhatsApp features I'm eagerly waiting for. So what do these alter uh, alternatives, alternatives to WhatsApp offer in terms of features and security? And should you, should you switch to these apps? Let's take a look. Who built this chart? the the report oh that sucks wait hold on will the you will our listeners actually be able to see the chart yes in the show notes okay which app is best for you the fact that whatsapp has already had already has a solid foundation and user base and the billions give it its upper hand give it the upper hand advantage users can are already comfortable with the ecosystem and it offers top-notch security for its chats what works against WhatsApp is parent company. Parent company's attitude toward privacy and user data, and not giving its user the option to not share its data on their platforms. The only reason you should stick with that WhatsApp is if you don't want to inconvenience of want the inconvenience of asking your contacts to switch to their messaging apps, and enjoy the stability of what uh, stability that WhatsApp offers. Stability. Stability. Sensibility. Sensibility. Telegram isn't as secure as its competitors in this lineup. Uh, in this lineup, but it offers a host of other features that WhatsApp and Signal don't. You even go over feed Signal. You already mentioned it. If you don't, if you aren't concerned, if you aren't that concerned about security and want target want to target a large audience, and Telegram is the app for you. <laughs> Signal is the best option for people who want the absolute best security and privacy. It doesn't store any data, and that is one of the reasons that many people are flocking towards the app. If WhatsApp is obstinate, 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 yes, on sharing its user data, Signal is the best option for you. Read more at https sem, uh, colon forward slash forward slash <laughs> www.bgr.in slash or slash exclamation point. Semicolon. Semicolon. It's a good thing I muted him. Huh, that's what you think. <laughs> yeah. no, I didn't I didn't mute him. Exactly. <laughs> but I didn't do the whole thing. That's okay. Nobody's requesting you didn't do the whole thing. I mean, oh, I can okay. do the whole thing. Well, hold up. Features forward slash <laughs> WhatsApp <laughs> hyphen <laughs> telegram hyphen. So, anyways, what do you think about the features chart? You're muted, Hosa, by the way. You should probably I just unmute him. <laughs> <laughs> oh no don't do that but yeah so don't do that don't let's, unmute me uh, let's oh. run through the features charts if you will okay. i don't wanna okay so whatsapp has end-to-end -end encryption on the uh, yes it has vanishing messages yes it can back up your chats on a third-party third uh icloud or google, google yeah. cloud it has no ads uh, it has group chat security, uh, and it has a screen lock. What screen Signal. lock? Like, what does screen lock mean? Like how you have it on your phone, where you can just lock it, and then to open it up, you just got to do something on your screen, like either input a pattern or a number. I thought screen exactly. lock meant they can't take a screenshot of said thing. No, no, 
My bad. I thought it was that. So Signal also has end-to-end encryption, also has vanishing messages, but it does not back up its chat and has no ads. It has group chat security and it has screen lock. Uh, this Telegram, right? The last one? Yeah. It has end-to-end encryption, but only for secret chats. It has vanishing, vanishing messages. It has a chat backup on Telegram's cloud. It has no it has no ads, but might be ads later. It has no group chat security, but it has screen lock. Hmm. So well, I don't. At, yes, yes. Continue. Just to say, from looking at all three of them, I have a feeling that Telegram might be better in terms of not having to worry about your data being stolen. But because they do say that ads might be added on later, it's probably what might cause people to not completely go there. Because part of the I thing think is the signal. No, nah, well, it depends because. The reason why both sig I'm sure like the reason why both Signal and as everyone knows WhatsApp do not have any ads is because they make money off of selling your data. So they don't need to add ads to play to get money for re- revenue. Correct. Pretty much because the revenue that they're getting is selling data. So the only way that Telegram is saying that right now that they don't have ads but might add on to it later is because since they don't sell data, they need to find some other way to be sustainable to survive that whole, to be able to sustain the whole, like, you know, passing t- um, messages back and forth. Some theorize that well, maybe the thing they could do donations. They can do a donation system. Maybe. Yeah, but it also depends on how popular, because if there's one thing you always have to understand in the technology world, even if something is better in terms of, of, of not sharing your data or it's like it has this thing over like, like, yeah, like, well, I'll get to that. Partially like the feature or part of like the way how the company runs and things like that. The, it's always ends up based on the general public. If the general public finds something very convenient and easy for them, no matter what the terribleness of it is in the background, people will still use it. Like, like example, like TikTok compared to Facebook, people like people say that TikTok's a lot worse than Facebook because TikTok is a Chinese app. It's a Chinese application software. And so because it's made from China, it doesn't have as much restrictions in terms of what it does with its user data compared to, say, Facebook, who has to answer to the U.S. government. But people still use TikTok because it's convenient. A lot of people use it, and it makes it's just it's just enjoyment for people. It's it satisfies the need. Yes. So maybe people might be upset with WhatsApp, but maybe there might not be a migration because people there's still millions of people who use it, and on top of that, people still use Facebook to this day. So it's still like under since WhatsApp is still under like, you know, Facebook's umbrella, people, they might be upset like, oh no, WhatsApp's also selling my data? Oh well. Because it's like Facebook's doing the exact same thing. Yeah, uh, it's a convenience fee, basically, for a lot of people that are willing to pay. Mm -hmm. Um, There was a guy, I forgot his name, I think it was, um, okay, okay, I'll say, Bernie Burns, uh, the creator of Rooster Teeth. He said that uh, since he's been around running the business in 2002, 2003, mm-hmm. the big sellers on the internet were messaging programs or nowadays messaging apps. Uh, the new, the, the, the most popular thing to create and the most revenue uh, thing to create revenue is a messaging program or data uh, app. I mean, that can be both sold to a customer because it enables you to communicate to other people. Or, or network with other people and versus um what other software what other software um autocad or or katia it's it's a software it can turn it can be turned into an app but uh it's a niche product for designing engineering stuff versus just being able to talk via text with other people it it's much more 
easier to sell as a person that creates programs or develops apps. Example, Instant Messenger. Instant Messenger has been around since late. Let's let, let me look it up before I say anything. When did Miss I I am it started existing? Are we talking about like um, Facebook Messenger or just I am in Instant general? Messenger? I am from oh. AOL. Okay, AOL. Yeah. Ooh, that was like late ninety, late nineties or something, or mid nineties. That was one internet was becoming the thing in the in the home household. Yeah. It used to be called AIM, A I M A O L Instant Messenger. Ah uh, yes. I remember we used AIM. to we used it. I remember using it in middle school back in in Mexico. Yep. This was two thousand one, two thousand two, no two thousand two, two thousand three. We um, it was the big the bee's knees back in those days. Yeah, for all you kids listening, oh, things were way different back then. And uh, it was, and and then Facebook came in when you and I, Mike, were in high school, and it was so easy to create an account in high school, right? For high yeah. schoolers, I found out be, be of Facebook thanks to you, Chris, uh, and um. And other other kids back in the day, oh, we can create this account because so you if you're giving me a timeline of um like early 1990s, early er, I was even it's even earlier. Damn, yeah, you like with the you got mail. Is that you is got that mail? Is that is um AOL email still around? No, it has no. to be right. No, I think it replaced it with the uh, Hotmail. No, that's that, that that's Microsoft. No, yeah, but I think no. it got replaced by Hotmail. So Microsoft purchased AOL? I don't remember. What does AOL Probably stand maybe. for? American Online. Yeah, American Online. Yep. American Online something. I forgot what the L stood for. I thought it was Line. American Online? America Online. America? America Online. That was, I think, I could be wrong. But yeah, uh, Microsoft, and then I, I, my first email, at least my first three emails were on Hotmail. Huh, it is Do American you, online. Yeah. What were uh what what's the first email that you remember making? On what pro on what service provider did you you guys create your first email? Yahoo. Hotmail. Yahoo. I think you still have the Yahoo one, right? Um. Yeah, Fanman? it's the one I currently use. You have uh, how many emails do you have currently? Uh, more than five? Let's just say it says it tells me more than nine nine nine. And you still manage those all those? No. How many do you still manage? Whatever I look at for the day. Do you have instant forwarding? No. Damn, uh, I found the first email from two thousand and six. Damn. We haven't met. No, we did. No, we haven't met. I wasn't even in the country no. yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Allegedly. I'm not going to mention that. Uh, for me, my first was Hotmail. Hotmail from Microsoft. And, uh, and because it was hot. My first two emails I lost because I didn't know the rules of ma- managing your email. I forgot to log in. So those guys are dead. The third one I, I kept. And uh, it was because of my computer class that we would you you needed a, an email in order to go into Instant Messenger, <laughs> and I used it there. But um, I I stayed with that email, and I still have it to this day. Right now, I manage at least at least more um, at least five emails easily, and I still have some of them for in, um forward to my present email, and my present email is a Gmail. What about you guys? You, wait, you said you only have a Yahoo, and I'm not gonna ask for more, Mike, for that one. I like that. No, I have. I mean, I have two more, but one of them's for business, and then the other one is like an official spam account that, like, if people just ask, you know, like sometimes, like, "Hi, oh, would you like to set up an account with us?" I go, "Oh yeah, I can just give this," so I don't feel embarrassed with like the the high school one I have. And that's okay. What about you, uh, Jose? I have. I think my first one was a Hotmail. Damn. Which I still have. And then now I just have uh, another one for like, just for like, oh, sign up for this. Like, yeah, sure, here. 
Your spam. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I have my school one. And then, like I said, the Gmail that I have. Yeah, we all have at least five emails. Three to five emails that we manage, minimum. I have four. Yeah, I, I said at least three to five. <laughs> that, it does cover that. <laughs> You're like, I have four. No, but, but you yeah. said five. I mean, I know I have more than five. I know that. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh. Wait. Sorry. I guess I'm just going through a bit of a trip. I found the very first game I got on Steam from 2009, December 26. It was the orange box. For TF2. Oh, you used to tell me about TF2 back in those days. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Nostalgia. 11 years ago. Yep. 12 years ago. Wait, who the heck sent me this? <laughs> It I'm was trying not to me. find that because the name, the person didn't write the full name on it. Oh. So I'm just like, what the frick? What the frick? But yeah, and, and question, are there services or email providers that also tout privacy that you guys know of? Privacy? Like, what more, like NordVPN? Like no, no, like email accounts like Gmail, Hot, Hotmail, Outlook. Are there any services like that that say, oh, they tout privacy? Because Gmail obviously tells you ads and all those things. Are there email services that also give that as their selling point that, oh, we'll give you a totally private email account? Most likely, right? Not that I know of. Nope. No? You guys don't know of any? But there probably is, right? That tout there. privacy. Possibly, but I just don't know it. Allegedly. Allegedly, Allegedly. because there's always a market for something. Yeah, and if there's messaging apps that tout privacy, I might guess the precursor to to touting um uh, messaging apps were emails. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's my theory. This is me, my assumptions. But okay, I feel like we've said enough. There's a market. The market's not is um the market it's is dead. changing. No, the market is changing, and there's a, a growing supply of messaging apps that are competing with WhatsApp. But WhatsApp has a longer time in the market. That that if it's convenient, like Mike said, people are not gonna leave. And that's I said my piece. So we in the piece of a cupcake or what? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, you you also wouldn't Marcus you would also guess, but I found an old picture of you too from high school. No, no, who took it? Um, I think it was me actually. Just forward project. it to me, please. Yeah, I want to see myself. <laughs> I know yeah, I, I did not see. post to this picture. I know I did He's not like, I want to see this. myself when I was pure. <laughs> I, did, I, I, know I, I, I know I was for sure not paying attention for this picture. Is this was a year uh, was this a yearbook picture? No, it was a uh, it was for an art project. It, Wait, I took, took it in two thousand and ten. Yeah. He has he has values. He has morals back in the day. Yeah. Now I don't know. I he never had morals. What? So yeah. So what's next, Marcus? What was I doing with Giuseppe? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Let me see the picture. You know what must be done, Marcus? No. Let me see. Oh, you do it, fan man. You, you, you send it to me. You don't have my email. No, through Discord. No. Oh, it's on Discord. Yeah, yeah, he privately sent it to me. Message. Oh, yeah, send it to me. Uh, is it under Drago unit? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I apparently have to send you. What were we phone. doing? We were. You were posing for a photo that I took because I wanted to draw. I wanted to draw you guys in an art class, so I needed a reference. <clears throat> So the way you just put, you got you posed that was because what you wanted. <laughs> what were we doing? I don't remember. Posing. I just told you. Yeah, what's up with the girl in the middle? <laughs> it, we were we were with the refined. Blue dress. We were a refined kind of group. To be honest, she looks kind of pregnant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> If you only knew. Wait, who's yeah. Michael? I don't even know. He's not I'm here. Not... In the he's taking the picture. Oh, he's taking yeah. the picture. Yep, you will never see me. The one to the the one that's posing next to me—that's Animal. Oh, is Richie here? Yeah, he's all yeah. the way to the far right. 
Oh, I would to say the far left. Wait, far, far left. left. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. You're on the far right. Yeah. <laughs> it turns out Richard's Mark- actually Marcos. <laughs> yeah. The bum, whole bum, time. <clears throat> You're Marcos. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Mar- Marcus is, is the type of Mexican you see when you look up Mexicans. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you look up Mexicans for a research project, this is what you see. I had a watch and everything. I am looking at my watch right there. This guy with the, with his foot on the chair is like, I assert dominance. Whoa, 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 hey, that's it for part one. What? There's a part two then, right? Of course. Okay, guys, stay tuned for part two of this podcast. By the way, what's your release schedule, Josue? Uh, well, depending on what it is, the next level could be either Thursday or next week, Tuesday. Okay, so me, the editor, I'll try to keep sure. I'll try to make sure. Sorry, you know, delirious over here. Um, I'll try to make sure that I'll release it at an early time every Tuesday and Thursday on East Coast time. So that means if you're on the wet coast, you're about four hours behind. The wet coast? Really? Yes, the wet coast. (laughs) I said the wet coast, so I meant the west coast. (laughs) This is staying in. This is staying in. This is gold. (laughs) (laughs) But anyways, listeners, until next time. Stay tuned. Stay frosty. I don't like frosty. Hi there. Thank you for tuning into the LTS podcast. All the notes and more can be found in the description. By the way, we have a social media page where content is posted regularly. Feel free to reach out at at us through there or via email. Both are found in the description. When you support the show, we have a merch store where you can buy an item that you like. If buying merch is not your thing and you just want to support the show directly, we also have links to those too, if you'd like. Thank you. Also, every comment is really appreciated. Credits in the description as well. Peace.